Hello, let's do the New York Times hard Sudoku for September 23rd, 2023. There's a link in the description if you'd like to try the puzzle yourself, and I'm going to get started right now. All right, my eye is drawn to column three. I mean, you can probably see why. Um, I'm going to think about what we need here. We need two, four, five, and six. Hmm. Well, this can't be two or six. This is four or five. This can't be four. I think I'll mark it, but I'm a little disappointed in this column. It didn't deliver what I hoped. Um, okay, so let's just do some normal scanning now. Um, oh, this two and this two look into this box, leaving two here. Um, so that's not a two now, that helps. Not really. <laughs> this five looks up, um, and obviously these aren't five, so five goes in one of these two. And those fives point left. So what do I mean by pointing? Um, hope, forgive me, longtime watchers, for this explanation yet again. But <laughs> we use corner marks in a box to designate where in that box that digit can go. So in this case, five can only go in these two cells. The box needs a five. Um, and this row, row two, can only provide one five. And it's in if if um, basically box three needs to get it from row two. That means we can't put a five elsewhere in row two. So if this was a five, where would we put five in box three? That's one way you could put it. So we call it pointing because you can kind of see how these line up in the same row, these corner marks do, and that looks like it's kind of pointing left. Um, it points at the rest of the row and it eliminates five from the rest of the row. So this can't be five, so it must be a four. We now have two fours here and this four looks up, so that's a four. Um, All right, we do have two sixes here. So six is one of these two. If that ends up five, we get the six for free, but we don't know that that's the case. Um, anything else repeating? Yeah, the twos. These twos look in, so two's up here. There are only four digits left in this top row. I'm gonna think about them. One, two, three, and uh, five. This can't be two or five. So this is one, three. Oh, one, look at that. This one sees here, this one sees these two. So one in this row can only go here. The row needs a one, and it can only be in this, this one cell. That's called a hidden single. We'll place a one there. Now I'm just gonna pencil the rest of these. Um, we need two, three, and five. So I'm just gonna put two, three, five here. Center marks are what that cell has been limited to. Um, that cell can, this cell can only be two, three, or five, for example. That's what we use center marks for. Um, Okay, I'm gonna fill this as well because there's only three left in the column. Uh, we need two, five, and six, and I'm seeing a five here, okay. Um, all right, let's continue scanning. I feel like there should be more to find. Yes, there is. Look, this one looks into here. Um, this can't be one, so the one goes here. Um, so what are these? These are three, five, eight, nine. I'm not super happy with that. Five, eight, nine. Okay. I and mean, obviously this can't be three, but I'm not going to mark that right now. Um, I'm actually going to move on to the next uh, band here. A band is just a row of three boxes. We call it a um, column of three boxes. We call that a stack. Just nomenclature. It's just a name. Um, all right. This one looks down. This one looks in. This can't be one because of that. So that's a one. And that puts a one here as well, because we have these two ones looking in and this one looking down. Um, let's just double click ones and see what we can find. So we need ones in one of these two. We need ones in one of these two. And that's all that's left is that we, you get this rectangle pattern a lot um, for remaining digits. It's pretty common. Um, what else can we do? Nines? Lines go there. Um, twos, yeah, I, I just noticed these two twos look in. Um, would have seen that with stack scanning, but saw it now, so might as well do it now. That two is useful because it actually finishes this column. We get the six, the five, and the two. 
Um, so this five took that six. That's exactly what I said would happen. If this ends up five, we get this six for free. Sure enough, we did. Uh, we now need five in this row that goes here, or you could use the two, three pair to eliminate the three from here. However you want to think about it, it's the same. This is going to be known because this is a triple for the box. So this is going to be the seven. Um, and we'll just fill these triples. So we need three, eight, nine here. That's not a three. And then here we need three, five, nine. And that cleans up a little bit as well. How about this column? Uh, we need three, five, and seven. Ooh, so where does seven go in this column? Right, it's not, this seven takes it out of here and this seven takes it out of here. So seven is placed. This is three or five. Um, this seven does put a seven down here. Um, okay, sixes are here because we have this six looking down and this six looks over. Nines are over here somewhere. Skipping ahead a little bit with scanning, but honestly, vertical scanning looks much more interesting than this this last band here. Um, did I even finish this band? I'm not sure I did. Um, I'm going to do vertical scanning, though, and we'll come back if we need to, because I feel like there's a lot to find here. Um, actually, the first thing I want to do is we, we have six, seven, and nine corner marked in here, along with one, three, and eight are placed. And so these two digits at worst are three digits each, and those three digits are two um two four and five that's all they can be because they can't be one three six seven eight nine but i think they can actually all be two, they can be two four five so that it is worst case scenario but um what else can i do here this five looks over here so we get a five in one of these two okay um, we know five's over here then. It feels like I gotta be able to get something. Oh, this is a pair. This two, three pair tells us this is a pair. Um, let's just fill it. It's seven and eight. I'm not sure that does anything. If this ends up eight, we get an eight here, but I don't know that that's... It's not necessarily true. I mean, it's not necessarily an eight. <laughs> um, and if it's a seven, then we already have a seven in the box, so we can't really say much about that. Oh, seven, look, seven looks over, seven looks down, so that's a seven. So I think I didn't finish scanning this. Um, what do we need in this box? We need three, four, and six. Um, okay, so I'm seeing, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fill it, but I'm seeing this three and this six, so I'm, I'm interested. Um, so we know the six is in one of these two, and we know the three is in one of these two. So these threes join together to put a three over here. Hmm. Ah, we have this seven and this seven, and this seven. That puts a seven here. How are we doing on sevens? So we have sevens here, and we have sevens here. It's, it's this rectangle pattern again. That's all that's left. So we have this rectangle ones left, and we have this rectangle sevens left. Um, this row has only three left now. It's four, five, six. This can't be six. Hmm. There are a lot of buy values around here. Maybe I should think about this column. What's the column need? It needs two, three. There's so many. Two, three, four, five, seven, eight. Um, this can't be two, five, or seven. So, oh, I guess it already could, okay. So what, what can this be? It can't be one, two, it could be three, could be four, can't be five, six, seven, could be eight, can't be nine, darn. In general, this row needs three, four, eight, nine. Yeah, we know the three, okay, so let's, let's just fill it. Three, four, eight, nine. This can't, th these can't be three, this can't be nine, and this can't be a four either. So that's an eight nine pair in this column. That's nice. So the the remaining is a triple. We need two, five, and six. And this this sees the two and the six. So that's a five. Ah, that five uh sees here, removing this corner mark. So now five is indeed here. But I don't know that does anything yet. 
Ooh, if this could be three, we'd actually... Oh, never mind. I was going to say we'd only have one place for three, but there's two places for three already. Never mind. Um, okay, what else are we doing here? This two six is intriguing. Five in this row is almost interesting. It's limited to two places. All right, I really don't think I even finished like proper scanning, but I may have already caught the important bits. Um, oh, okay, eight. Eight looks down, eight looks in, eight's placed in this box. I feel like this puzzle's been pretty straightforward and I've just approached it strangely, but we're, we're almost done, I think. Um, this column is three, four, six, nine. It can be any of those. Not six. Okay, three, four, nine then. Let's use that six. These are four. Uh, these are three, seven, eight, nine. Ah. Okay, that's a sneaky naked single because it sees three, eight, and nine like that. So that's a seven. That makes this a nine. We get the eight and the seven. Unfortunately, this didn't end up eight, so we don't get this eight for free. Um, we get the three and we get the eight. Okay, so the bottom row was key there for just, it just completes itself if you just pencil it. <laughs> um, wow, okay, we're getting, we're getting everything, yeah. Like I said, I think this was a pretty straightforward puzzle today, nothing too complicated. Um, I don't even think I really spotted anything crazy. Like no crazy geometry spots, no like hidden triples. Just some hidden singles, really. Some naked singles, Not nothing too bad. Um, let me know if there's something I spotted that you didn't, but or that, that like, you're like, oh, that was helpful. Because I, I, like, I like to know what sorts of spots are eluding people so I can focus on those and, and explain better how I find those. But I really do think that today was pretty straightforward. Okay, and I'm just using the red marks to finish this, basically. Um, this box needs a one, it needs a three. Um, tell me if there's a three, yeah. So three goes there. We need a uh, six and nine. So this is a one six pair. Oh, no, never mind. This is the one and this is the six. There we go. That one rectangle finally finished. And then this is a nine and this is a nine. There we go. All right, yeah, pretty straightforward puzzle. Um, they're going easy on us today. <laughs> How'd you do on this? Uh, and again, yeah, let me know if there were things that you'd like me to focus on. Like, oh, I struggled finding this thing. How did you find that? Because I feel like this solve was relatively smooth. Um, so yeah, pretty cool. Um, and of course, if you enjoyed this content, then why not leave a like, subscribe, and a kind comment below.